Hey guys, what is up? Um, sorry that this video is a little late, but um, I'm just in this video. I'm going to be covering the long-awaited iPhone 4.0 features, um, release date, and jailbreak. So I'll go ahead and open my internet browser here, and this info can all be found on the Apple website. Um, but I'm going to run through the features just so you know what they are. Um, as you can see, it says it offers a hundred new user features for the iPhone, iPhone and iPod Touch owners and iPad owners as well. Um, for the release date, this will be available in the summer for iPhone and iPod Touch and the iPad in the fall. However, there is a developer beta now available if you are a developer. Um, so here we go, running through the major features. There's going to be a hundred new user features, but this website covers some of the basic um, and big ones. Um, first of all, the main one that everyone's been waiting for has been released, guys, multitasking. Um, developers now have access to put multitasking inside of their apps. Um, many of the apps that include multitasking that Apple demoed were things such as playing Pandora um, in the background without switching to another app. Um, because you're able to do this, you can also use the iPod controls on the lock screen to play Pandora, so it's pretty cool. Um, another thing you'll be able to do is VoIP, so you say you'll be able to run, be running Skype in the background without having to have it open the whole time and you can still receive calls from anyone. So it's also pretty cool guys. The way that this will work is they will combine it with push notifications and just straight multitasking so you will save battery life and um, all you will have to do is double click the home button and it will bring up a little dock on your uh, it'll bring up a little dock on your similar to the dock that is on the iPhone already underneath the app that is currently running and you will be able to pick and choose which app you want to use um, so it's pretty cool guys um, second one that they are, are using is called folders um, basically what this is is kind of like stacks for iPhone um, if you've had a jailbreak, jailbroken iPod or iPhone before you know the app categories. Um, basically, you will be able to drag one app on top of another app, and um, they will be grouped into a folder. And you can click the folder, and it will expand and show your apps. Um, this will allow more than 2160 apps on the iPhone at once, rather than the current 180. And it'll also help you organize your apps better. So that's pretty cool, guys. Um, another feature that everyone's been waiting for is even better mail in the mail app. Um, there will be a unified inbox so you will have more than one email account in one inbox if you would like and you can also switch between the inboxes more uh, quickly and organize the messages by threads and you will even be able to save apps third party I mean uh, attachments and open them in third party apps and edit them so that's pretty cool guys. Um, and another big one that is present on the iPad already is iBooks. Um, they're adding iBooks to the iPhone so you can download, read, and browse any book that you want and install it on your iPhone. Also, some features that you will be less um, entertained by is Enterprise, which is just for businesses and how they can market the iPhone. And iAd. Um, iAd, guys, is similar to Google AdSense for the iPhone and basically developers will be able to put their ads inside of an app. Um, this is currently already on the iPhone, but if you click the ad, it will leave your app completely. This will keep your ad open and it will be easier to use. Um, and then again, there's the next feature is new developers tools, so they'll be able to include multitasking and many different features in their apps so you can get the best out of your iPhone. Um, just some other features, guys, that I can help you look up. Sorry iPhone 4.0 software update um, news just bringing up another article here um, iPhone OS 4.0 features Let's see, let's go to the report card. Um, 
So another feature, guys, that you will be able to do that I forgot to mention is on the iPad, you can currently have wallpapers on your uh, on your home screen. They will be extending this to the iPhone OS, and you will be able to basically, it's kind of like a uh, winter board without the icons. So there's another jailbreak app that they have fixed. I already talked about folders. Um, more persistent Wi-Fi, it will... Uh, you, it will keep you more connected, easier, and better. This is another big one. Um, Game Center. Um, I'm actually looking forward to this a lot. It's going to be really cool. Um, this is similar to the PlayStation Network or the Xbox Live Network on Xbox and PS3. Um, basically, Apple is going to be adding an app called Game Center on every iPhone and iPod Touch. And you can challenge your friends to a game, add them as friends, um, talk to them so it's pretty much you will be connected with your friends on your iPhone you can see leaderboards and how they're doing in their games so it's a really way to play with your friends online so it's pretty cool um, just some more features um, they will be adding digital zoom to the iPhone camera if you have an iPhone just so that's what people have been waiting for in some ways and again multitasking guys which I already went over um, so those are some of the main features that um, will be released in iPhone OS 4.0. Again, when will this be released for the iPod Touch, iPhone, and iPad? For the iPod Touch and iPhone, this will be released this summer, so June, pretty much two months from now. Um, for the iPad, this will be released this fall, unfortunately a little later. Um, and compatibility, what, what device should you have? Um, iPhone OS will will work with both the iPhone 3G, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch second generation, and iPod Touch third generation, 32 gig or 64 gig, and the iPad. Um, unfortunately, guys, on the iPod Touch 1G and iPhone to iPhone first generation, you will not be able to even download the iPhone OS 4.0 on it. So I would recommend updating your devices if you had that. Um, on the iPhone 3G and iPod Touch, you will be able to get the iPhone OS 4.0, but unfortunately you will not have multitasking available to you because it has a slower processor on both of those devices. And on the iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch, 3rd Gen, and iPad, because they have faster processors, you will have the full-blown multitasking and everything. So be on the lookout for that this summer, guys. Um, I currently have the iPod Touch 32 gig third generation, so I will be doing my review later in the summer on that. Um, and so overall, guys, that was just a rundown of the features of iPhone OS 4.0. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this this review. Um, I will be doing a video once I get the iPhone OS 4.0 on my um on my iPod, I may sign up for a developer's account just so I can get it early to preview it for you guys. So rate, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss future videos. And thanks, guys. Peace. Sorry, I forgot to um, I forgot to update this in the video. Um, they have already jailbroken the iPod Touch OS 4.0 um, 19 half hours after it was released. So be on the lookout also for a jailbreak video. Um, if, it, if they release it early, I will have a video. Otherwise, be on the lookout for it this summer. So thanks again, guys. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.